Hey, pass the tinsel. Oh, wow, that's really bad for the environment. I don't give a shit about the environment. If it was good enough for the pagans, it's good enough for me. Now, do you have the tree topper up or not? Uh, yeah, boss, he's up there. I'm not liking this. Good, good. All right, everyone, gather round. We'll watch some specials. Maybe Twas the Night Before Soul Invictus Day is on. Or Deck the Halls with Bells of Horus. Hey, boss, it's been a while since I've seen the Charlie Brown Winter Solstice special. Christmas is only a few weeks away, with streets beginning to fill up with holiday decorations, shopping, and family events. Now, with all these distractions, it's easy to forget what is the true meaning of Christmas. I'm in New York City right now, catching up with Kirk Cameron on his latest film called Saving Christmas, bringing an important message to us that keeps the true meaning alive. Wait a minute. What's this? A new holiday special? What's this Christmas she's talking about? I made Saving Christmas, one, because I love Christmas. I love everything about it. Some people are saying that Christmas is actually so infected with paganism that we shouldn't have Christmas trees or holly or mistletoe or any of that stuff. But I want to make a movie that inspires maximum joy and celebration this Christmas. It looks an awful lot like Sol Invictus Day. Oh, Kirk Cameron, do you remember him? He used to be a child actor. Anything he's in has got to be pure gold. Let's look it up on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh boy, that's got to hurt. follows a man named Christian who sees Christmas as a time for pointless shopping and useless traditions. Where's Christian? How's he doing? Is he okay? Oh, he's fine, really. He's just, he's just not into Christmas this year, that's all. When his Scrooge-like attitude begins to sour the party, Kirk's character decides to show Christian the true meaning of Christmas. Everything you see inside there, it's all about Christmas. It's all about Jesus. Oh, Kirk Cameron, how wrong you are. The celebration that you know as Christmas has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus Christ. Literally nothing. The great Roman Empire used to be mostly pagan. Different forms of pagan beliefs that were all very similar. Along came Constantine and basically changed the dynamic of the Roman belief system. Everybody had to basically convert to Christianity. But what happens when you tell a whole population of millions of people that they have to change their entire belief system? Well, that doesn't go over so well. So what do they have to do? They have to make all of the current celebrations relate to the new belief system and not change them at all. Let's watch the actual trailer for the movie and see if we can do a point point by point analysis of everything that's wrong with it. Do you ever feel like Christmas has been hijacked? Hey, uh, where's Christian? How's he doing? Is he okay? Oh, he's fine, really. He's just, he's just not into Christmas this year, that's all. By all the commercialism and those who want to replace Merry Christmas with Happy Holidays or Season's Greetings, whatever that means. You okay? This is not what Christmas is all about. Some want to pull down every manger scene and tell us why our favorite Christmas traditions are wrong. Newsflash, not in the Bible. That's a pagan idol symbol. It was the winter solstice. Jesus was not born in December. It's exactly what the Druids did. It's like a carjacking, but like of our religion. And guess what? Santa got in the car, kicked Jesus out, and was like, rolling, 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 and took, and just took it. So you can clearly tell that Kirk Cameron has heard these arguments before. They have been presented to him. Christmas and the celebration of Christmas literally has nothing to do with the religion of Christianity. In fact, the Bible mentions Christmas trees in Jeremiah 10, talking about the old pagan practice of cutting down a tree, adorning it in gold and shiny things, and decorating it in their living room, or whatever the fuck room Mud Hut spent back then. Isn't it time somebody spoke up? Everything you see inside there? It's all about Christmas. It's all about Jesus. All the consumerism, lining up at stores to buy the best gift for all your family and loved ones and friends, buying the best decorations for your house, making your yard look sparkly and shiny and showing off to all your friends with nice Christmas clothing you can wear. This has nothing to do with the teachings of Jesus. Any Christian with half a brain would see this, but that's clearly not the case. There's a reason why nobody wants to give up Christmas and has nothing to do with God, Jesus, or the Bible. I know 
you love Christmas and you want it to be all about what it's all about. This seems to be a pretty regular theme I run into when debating with creationists. Just wanting something or believing something is a certain way does not make it that way. This Christmas, dive headfirst into all of the joy, the dancing, the celebration, the feasting, the imagination, and traditions that glorify the true reason for the season. Woo, work Holy Spirit. Ha, can I get an amen? I see yeah. the the scales are falling off. Glory, ah, glory. Mm. Obvious, token black friend, is obvious. Join me and my family, and together, let's put Christ back into Christmas. I'm having a hard time believing that Kirk Cameron's going to properly address some of the issues, like, for example, Yule, or Yule Tide is the Scandinavian fertility god, and the Yule log was a log that everybody would put their wishes and wants upon and before they would burn for good luck for the season. Did you think that he brings up the tradition of the wreath that was originally a Wiccan tradition? How about... Um, mistletoe and holly. Oh, that was a druid tradition, believe it or not. The tree tradition, the Christmas tree, was originally brought up by Saturn worshippers, another sun god cult. Also, Saint Nicholas. Uh, he was kind of retconned in. People will say that he was in the Council of Nicaea, but he's actually a derivative of Thor or Odin. And there's other traditions that are derived from Slepnir, Mithras, Sol Invictus, Horus, Timutes, which was the Babylonian Jesus. Jesus, basically. All of these traditions were kind of melting potted into one big celebration. People do not like their celebrations to be changed, especially not when a new god is shoved it down their throat. People are much more willing to worship a new god or goddess than they are to change the way they do things. The reason Christians celebrate Christmas is because the Romans became Christians and the Romans did not want to change their traditions. They just changed all the names of those traditions. Pretty simple. Time to get drunk! Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays, season's greetings, Chappy Chanaka, and have a good one.